I've always been like a socialist, I've always been a feminist, and so to me, words like individual rights and free speech and free expression sort of functioned as almost trigger words or code words. It is really frightening that so many people today seem to believe what social justice means is to censor and to threaten. It was shocking to me personally that um, a government entity uh, that is meant to uh, protect the rights of every individual and groups in the society could cancel an event that was already paid for and uh, was not meant to attack anybody. It was quite shocking. I've had this uh, NDNCAR plate for so long, I can't remember how long that I've had it. This other person said that they thought that somebody must have called in to complain about it. I was very scared. Like, I was like crying, like when I got that mail, I was crying. I, I couldn't sleep all night. I was told my husband, what are we gonna do? Like, we don't have that much money. It, it was painful for the girls to be removed this way. We were not going to be their forever home. They were going to move on to go elsewhere in time. But it wasn't supposed to happen like this. When the university refused to stand up for us uh, to respect our rights as students and as citizens and um, when they really made things more difficult for us just because we were controversial, it was disheartening. I wasn't surprised. The agency shut us down because we were not prepared to lie to the children about Easter Bunny and Santa Claus. I was uh, working from home by the time and I was advertising on Facebook for the waxing services. I don't do uh, guys and uh, transgender. And after like two, three months, I got a mail that there was a complaint against me. The teens and the youth department of our church uh, put a conference together. Eventually, Ambi Center, without hearing our own side of the story, uh, decided to cancel events. The Justice Center lawyer has so much knowledge. When we went to the hearing, I just he, he handled my case very professionally. If there is no Justice Center, there is no J. Cameron, I don't think so I can I could win. They know what they're doing. They've been in cases like this before. So I, I feel I feel that I'm I've got a good team going to bat for me. Yeah, as far as the Justice Center is concerned, they made sure that the library <laughs> did what they were supposed to do. And There's not a lot of groups like the Justice Center that are, are going to go out of their way to help controversial and broke students. If I had to describe the Justice Center in one word, I would describe them as defenders. They're the ones who stand up for people who often have no one else willing to stand up for them. And so without the Justice Center, we would have had no legal recourse. If I had to describe the Justice Center in one word, that word would be tough. These guys are in tough against some big governments. The, the work of the Justice Center, I think, is something that is really needed, especially in Canada. I mean, it, it seems like they're one of the only organizations who are doing this, this work. Justice Center is a lifesaver. This group of lawyers has come to me and said that they would represent me on a pro bono basis. They just helped me like totally free. So obviously it is important. This wasn't important just for our event, it's important for everyone. I am a Cree Indian sitting here. When they take away my rights, they're taking away your rights as well. Freedom means freedom for everybody.